This first case is a 62-year-old female with persistent activity-related anterior groin pain 10 months after a total hip replacement. Her infection workup's negative. Uh, radiographic, serial radiographs are unchanged. Uh, and you can see those here, AP lateral views. Uh, the pain has been temporarily relieved following injection of lidocaine and cortisone into the iliopsoas tendon sheath. And the question is, what is the next appropriate treatment? Could be one, um, activity modification, uh, two, iliopsoas tendon release, three, femoral component revision, four, acetabular component revision, or five, femoral or acetabular component revision. The most appropriate answer is iliopsoas tendon release. In the setting of uh, implants that are not malpositioned and refractory iliopsoas tendonitis that has responded to uh, therapeutic and diagnostic injection, most appropriate next step in the face of persistent pain is an iliopsoas tendon release. Now that is in distinction to a situation such as this where you have acetabular component malposition, relative retroversion of the acetabular component with exposed or overhanging anterior acetabular component relative to the bony anatomy. In this situation, a malpositioned acetabular component would uh, require revision of the acetabular component. Now, if we look at iliopsoas impingement, the most common symptom and frequently asked question is groin pain. Uh, physical findings can be somewhat subtle, but uh, one of the best provocative tests is a resisted seated hip flexion, which can exacerbate the pain, as can straight leg. So again, the uh, best provocative test can be uh, exacerbation of symptoms with uh, resisted seated hip flexion or pain with straight leg raising. Now imaging for a uh, iliopsoas impingement diagnosis would include standard radiographs, AP pelvis, AP lateral of the hip to check the position of the implants, make sure the acetabular component is not oversized. A CT scan can be helpful to determine the, pro the uh, position of the prosthesis and to rule out relative retroversion and uncovering of the anterior acetabulum. An MRI is usually not valuable for this particular diagnosis. And uh, diagnostic challenge with uh, lidocaine and cortisone under image uh, guidance, usually ultrasound, can be quite helpful in making the diagnosis and at times treating the condition. So non-operative treatment uh, in the case of malpositioned implants is rarely successful. Occasionally it can be successful without malpositioning of the implants. Uh, the operative treatment in refractory cases is iliopsoas tenotomy or resection, and certainly in the case of acetabular component malposition, revision of the acetabular component to eliminate the overhang anteriorly. Another question of variant of the first one, 67-year-old female, anterior groin pain one year following her primary uncemented total hip. The pain is exacerbated as she tries to climb stairs, get up from a seated position, and often it will be painful as they try to get their leg into a car as they enter the car seat. Uh, no systemic symptoms. Uh, workup is uh, negative for infection. She does have pain reproduced with resisted seated hip flexion. And the question is, what is the most appropriate uh, treatment at this time? And our options include uh, diagnostic injection, hip aspiration, bone scan, conservative management, revision of the acetabular component. Certainly in this situation when there's been no prior treatment, a diagnostic lidocaine and cortisone injection under image intensification would be a good way to make the diagnosis and potentially treat the problem in the face of normal position of the components. Another variant, 65-year-old male, uh, groin pain 18 months following a total hip, pain is worse with activity, specifically hip extension during gait. Radiographs show uh, no fractures, loosening, or malpositioning. Again, uh, infection workup, which is always important in the face of a painful total hip, is negative. Uh, white count on cell count uh, aspiration is 500 with no growth. Uh, so what would be uh, the most likely, uh, or which of the following be, is most likely to determine the nature of the continued pain? Again, your options you see here. 
and the most appropriate diagnostic uh, and th potentially therapeutic tests at this time is injection with lidocaine and uh, cortisone into the iliopsoas tendon sheath. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.